What's up guys? We're going to Broke Boys Manifesto. Today we'll be reviewing the Gunflower Holster, which is, uh, it's on Amazon and it costs around $20. It's made by Gunflower. Uh, they reached out to me a couple months ago and then asked me if I wanted a holster to do a review on. And I said, send me the cheapest one you got pretty much. And this is the one I got. They also make an outside the waistband holster, but this is obviously an inside the waistband holster uh, for Glock 19. Most popular handgun pretty much in the United States, I think. Maybe around the world. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I told them uh, I would do a review on it, so they sent it to me. So what are we trying to do here today? Um, really, I'm just going to be talking about what you're getting with this holster and then I'm going to be giving you my impressions on it and whether or not I think you should purchase it or not. So right out the gate, is this the fanciest and the danciest holster on the market? No, it is not. Um, is it the cheapest? Eh, it might be. I don't fucking know. I really, I really don't know. Um, if there's something cheaper than this, um, we might have some sneaky suspicions of how um, durable it is, but this holster so far seems to actually be awfully durable it is extremely flexible and you're getting quite a bit of i guess options here the only option that i would say that you do not get or the only feature that you're not getting is a window cut for a red dot so um if you have a handgun with a red dot on it this will not work for you um gunflower does have other holsters though so if you want to spend a little bit more money you could definitely find one that has a uh, red dot cut on it um i i don't pack glock 19s I don't appendix carry Glock 19s. I weigh, I mean, what am I? I'm I'm 5'10". I weigh about 156 pounds, and that's after eating a large meal and drinking a gallon of water. So, um, no, in my wildest dreams, I do not appendix carry a Glock 19. If I was going to appendix something, it would probably be like a P365 or a Glock 43. I have a Glock 43X, which I carry quite often in the appendix carry, but... Um, yeah, some of you chub butts out there, you guys like to appendix carry a Glock 19. You just shove it in one of your folds and have at it, I guess. So really, uh, what, do, what are you getting here? You're getting an appendix carry holster. It's got a nice sleeve up the back, covers your slides. So you're not getting, uh, you know, that cold slide rubbing into you or the aggressive slide rubbing into you. I don't think it will fit suppressor high sights. That looks like a pretty small channel there. It does have tension screws. I tensioned it up as soon as I got it because it was a little loose, but you can tension it to your gun. Um, if you're wondering what gun I'm using in this, this is a Grit Grips lower with a Killer Innovation slide and barrel. Really cool setup here. Um, both of these were actually sent to me, so shout out to both of them. A lot of people think cheaping out means that you're gonna be getting a product that is less durable, has less features and things of that nature, and it's just not something you should trust with your life. That's how they justify going and getting a $100 holster or a $200 holster for their appendix carry Glock. Um, when really at the end of the day, this is a chunk of shaped plastic, just like Alien Gear would give you or someone else. Theirs might be a little bit better, might be a little bit more comfortable, might be a little bit more concealable, but at the end of the day, it's a chunk of plastic with some screws in it and some little rubber pieces. So the fact that they can justify making you spend a hundred dollars or two hundred dollars on their holster will never be justifiable to me so um yeah i think time and time again on my channel i have proven that sometimes the more affordable product um is just as durable and just as good as the competition if not better is this one of those products eh, it, it's all right i mean Really though, this is their bottom of the line holster, guys. This, is, uh, this isn't their top of the line holster. I'm pretty sure this one and one other are the only ones that are in this price range. And this is really just a bare bones holster. This is to get someone's foot in the door that might otherwise not be able to afford, a, uh, be able to in afford. Jesus Christ, how, I can't say afford, I guess. Can't afford a holster, so. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is, this is, this might be the difference between someone packing a gun or not packing a gun. So, um, if you only have $20 to your name that you, you, you really need to get a holster, you, you have a Glock 19, don't have a holster. It's a lot, lot safer to pack in a holster than it is, you know, shove a open firearm into your crotch. So would I recommend this to people? Um, yeah, I mean, it's a $20 holster. It's bare bones. It, it seems durable. It gets the job done. It's lacking in a few features, but I mean, bare bones holster. If you have a bare bones Glock 19, throw it in here, you're good to go. 
really at the end of the day, just whatever you're going to pack, become uh, train with it, become competent with it, confident with it, and uh, rock that shit, really. I mean, I don't think a bad guy at the end of the day is going to ask you what holster you were carrying when you shot him in the chest. So if you guys want to go check out the uh, $20 holster, um, go on Amazon and look up Gun and Flower. I'll also be leaving a link in the description below uh, straight to this holster. And then I'm going to email them, see if they have a discount code for me. Maybe I can get one that's like uh, site-wide for their uh, Amazon store or something like that. So if you guys uh, maybe don't want this holster, you guys maybe want like an outside the waistband that's the same price. They have the exact same holster, but for outside the waistband. And then they also have, you know, a little bit more pricey. Gun Flower in general is just, or Gun and Flower is extremely affordable like all their options are pretty damn affordable they also have leather holsters and things like that so um if you want to just go check out an affordable holster company it's a great it's a great company to go look at so i'll leave a link in the description below going to this holster and then i will also uh, be seeing if i can get a discount code for their holsters um broke boys manifesto not trust funder boys manifesto but uh if you need a 10 percent off discount code on a 20 dollar holster just a little life advice, you might want to find yourself a different job.